I'm Jackie Van Ruler, and I love helping you look and feel 10 years younger. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to reduce dark circles from under your eyes. And as always, we're going to start with our chest, neck, and shoulder opening sequence. And this is so important for lymph flow. Your lymph is your fountain of youth. It's what cleans your body from the inside out. It keeps your skin cells clean. It keeps your um, face glowing, and it um, helps you keep, um, keep your skin nice and lifted and firm. So we're going to start with this little serrated edge here on the tool. These are available on my website if you don't already have one. I will put the link in this video. And we are just supporting the skin, doing a slight, slight, slight stretch on the skin. Now you're probably worried that the slight stretch on the skin is going to cause wrinkles. In reality, um, it's the fascial adhesions that cause wrinkles. So what, because we are stretching out the fascia and releasing those adhesions, that's actually gonna cause your skin to hold on to more moisture and become more plump. So we're working under the clavicle. Next, I'm gonna take this little edge here and work over the clavicle, again, supporting the skin. This is not um, using a ton of pressure. It's more the supporting here, slight pull here. And that's really what keeps your skin looking healthy and firm and allowing that lymph movement. If you haven't done this before, just feel your skin here and then feel on the other side. You'll probably feel that this is um, so much softer, so much more hydrated than it feels on the other side. Next, we're just going to move up the neck like this. Again, just supporting that skin the whole way. I love working up the shoulders. Working right behind that shoulder, especially if you have a lot of shoulder tension, which most of us do, right? Most of us are in this stress state where we're having a, holding a lot of tension in our body about 70% of the time. So the goal with this work is to get your body into that state of relaxation so much more because your body ages when you're in the state of stress. And when your body's in the state of relaxation, this is when your body can heal and repair itself. This is what's going to help you to look younger, feel younger, and live longer. All right, so I'm going to take this little tool here and work it underneath the jawline. We're just going to do that exact same sequence on the other side. And you can already see just from doing that, that my skin on this side is more lifted, it's more firm, um, that my jawline's more firm as well. Isn't that cool that just doing that little sequence every day just helps to keep your skin lifted and glowing? All right, now we're going to do the other side again. It's working here. Now, if it's hard for you to do it this way, you can also come in here and work it the opposite way. Sorry, I don't, I'm not wearing a better shirt today so you can really see what I'm doing, but working in here, supporting that skin, just getting that lymph flowing. So, 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 so important. Your lymph um, is a major part of your body's immune system. It carries white blood cells, and these white blood cells kill viruses, bacteria, cancer cells, things that you don't want in your body. So if your lymph is stagnant, your lymph can't move to where it needs to in order to kill these things. And so then it's less, um, you're not able to function. Your immune system doesn't function as well. So if your lymph is moving and flowing, it's so much easier for your body to stay healthy, to be resistant to diseases. Coming up the front of the neck. And just working under the jawline. If you want to, once everything is released, you can then 
slightly, just do some really gentle motions down your neck. This is with no pressure, and this is just really allowing the, um, the lymph to move. You can even do some pumping motions here. That really helps things to move and flow even better. While you're doing this, you might notice that you're um, swallowing more. It's a good sign that you've got lymph moving. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our face. I like to just use a couple of drops of oil. Here I'm using the Apoterra Rose Nourishing Oil. Really, you can use any facial oil that you like that works well for your skin. The only product I really don't like is like coconut oil just because the molecules are too big. But I'm literally using two drops for my entire face and neck. I'm not looking to make my face greasy. I'm just looking for just a tiny bit of glide when I go to use the detector. So that's this tool here. I'm going to pull up my formula. And today we're going to work on how to reduce dark circles on your eyes. So we're going to start with points 300. These are kidney points and it's easy to find those because you can put your fingers on the side of your mouth, go all the way up to your forehead and then come down just a little bit. And you might find little spots that it's almost like your fingers fit into them a little bit almost to the hairline but not quite, those are your kidney spots. And on the right hand side, this can be a little more zingy. If you tend to get hot fast or you're having hot flashes or um, you have high blood pressure, you can skip this right hand side. You also just want to massage that for about 10 to 15 seconds. And dark circles have a lot to do with your kidneys because your kidneys control your um, energy. So if your kidneys get depleted, it can show up as dark circles on your face because it's just showing that you don't have enough energy. And that can happen if you're overworking. If you're working too hard at a job that doesn't bring you a lot of energy or doesn't fulfill your life's purpose, because your kidneys really need to have purpose. They need to have a reason to be doing things. And so if you're working really hard at a job that doesn't um, fulfill you or give you energy, then it's actually going to deplete you and that can show up as dark circles under your eyes. Okay, now we're gonna get points 197, and these are halfway between the inner brow and the forehead. And this is a point for the eyes in specifically, so it's gonna send good energy, good blood flow to your eyes and to the areas around your eyes. Again, do that 15 to 20 seconds. If a point feels tender or zingy, or anything like that, you're gonna work it a little bit longer, and if it doesn't, then you can work it for a little bit less. Like, I'm not really feeling that much on the on my right-hand side, but my left, I'm feeling a little bit more. Then we're gonna work the whole area around the eyes. So I'm just pulling up my thing again. So we're doing the whole area around the eyes, and we're gonna work specifically on this point on the outer eye, outer under eye, because this is gonna help increase blood flow and increase circulation. So I like to start kind of at the bridge of the nose, but you can start really anywhere you want to. And we're just doing little circles all the way around the eyes. And I like to just support the skin here just because the skin can get, you know, it's super fragile around the eyes, particularly you're staying over the bone. And just gently massaging those areas and any areas where you get stuck or it feels more tender or you get redness, those are areas you just want to work a little bit more. As I'm coming out to this outer under corner of the eye to point 60 here, I'm just going to do a little extra. And this just allows for better circulation, deeper breathing, all of those things. Working all around the eyes. This is just bringing good circulation, good energy to this whole area. Right, if you have dark circles under the eyes, it's really indicating that you have some stagnation. I believe it's going to go around here twice. I'm really just focusing on the areas that I feel that are more tender, more zingy, that get red or feel stuck. Remember, this is always gentle. It should feel good. If it's painful or tender, you're probably working too hard or using too much pressure. 
And there's no reason to use extra pressure. Work in this area. I'm feeling some good stuckness here on myself, so I'm going to work this area a little extra. Just kind of stay in that area and do some good massaging in there. And again, I'm just supporting that skin. And I'm feeling some extra stuckness right here too, so I'm just going to stay in this area. You're probably going to feel it more on one side than the other. And that just means that that side needs a little extra love and a little extra attention. Again, working that point 60 here, that helps with circulation, blood flow. And as you're working this, you're really working out some fascia adhesions and stuff. That's what that stuckness really is. It's where your fascia kind of gets stuck and then it limits the flow of not only your lymph, but also your um, nervous system, just allowing those transmissions to come through. Just doing one more circle around the eyes. You know, here. And this is, a, this is a protocol that you can use daily. If you find that you're having dark circles, you need a little extra love and attention for your eyes and for your kidneys. You can really do this whole, um, this whole routine daily. You can even do it twice a day if you want to. So then we're going to hit point one. This point is when you come down your nose and it's where the cartilage softens up a little bit. Do some good massages in here. And this really helps with your blood flow. Again, dark circles just indicate some blood stagnation. It's going to help to increase the quality of your blood and the oxygenation of your blood and just your blood flow in general. Then we're going to come to the sides here and get points 45, which are um, additionally kidney points. So every organ you have points on the face and you have points on the forehead. So we already got those points on our forehead. Now we're going to get the points on the face for just kind of some extra love and attention. These points are also just really good for low back pain, hip pain as well, which also are associated with the kidneys. So if you have dark circles, it could be very common for you to have some low back stiffness or low back pain or some um, hip tenderness. Then we're going to hit the whole point, the whole area in front of the ear. So we're going to start where the top of the ear attaches to the face. And this is just a great point for, again, bringing more energy and blood flow to the eyes. So we're going to do some circles around here, stay in this area for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then you can just do some up and down motions right on the ears. And this just again helps to increase lymphatic drainage. Um, there's a point here that helps to just regulate your body, bring your whole body back into balance. So that's really helpful. And then I'll get the other ear. Again, where the top of the ear attaches to the face. Some good massaging in there. That's really great for the eyes in general. You may notice just by doing this protocol that your eyes become whiter. You have less puffiness under your eyes. Dark circles will become lighter. So something that you're going to want to do on a regular basis, if you, especially if you have really dark circles. And just notice um, as they start to lighten up day by day. Finish going down. And that's the protocol. I hope you enjoyed that. If you think this will help somebody else, please pass this video along. Please welcome them or invite them to my 30-day challenge. And um, let's share this, these self-help um, activities that you can do on a daily basis to help yourself look and feel 10 years younger. All right, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.